that's good. The quality- Oh! I don't know what caused that to happen. Is it because I'm moving the wind? Oh, wow. Yo, I found- I, I, I found a way to cheat. I figured out how to cheat, guys. <laughs> if you hold the window, it- it freezes the game. <laughs> what? I guess I should say this because I plan on uploading this to, to YouTube. My laptop died. It- it like- it, it took a dirt nap and it, it took a permanent dirt nap and uh although i guess dirt naps are always permanent what anyway yeah my my laptop crew to me died and uh it had a hard drive failure so i actually already beat the point device in legacy lens of kingdom like ages ago and i had like all the vods stored on my com on my laptop and then it like it, it burned in a fire and i can't i, I can't retrieve it so <laughs> All those, all, all of my first time reactions are gone, which is sad. We have a clip of the most important moment archived anyway, so don't worry. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. <laughs> I'll be sure to add that when I'm editing, uh, editing the, the video for, for this point device run later on YouTube. Yeah! Which I plan on uploading immediately. Alongside my uh, my Splatoon Grand Fest, uh, part two, part three, and part four. As usual, the homing kind of ki is kind of slow, doing damage. But again, we're at two power. Especially since Raymu gets good a good stage five, you can maybe mostly no bomb stage one through four and start bombing mostly of clown piece. That's the idea. Although I think we we top out on bombs on stage four anyway, right? So I could probably use a bomb on Doremi if I want. I made contact with a belligerent earthling. Now proceeding with purification. You're in a weird mental space and all over the place during past, present, future fest, but you respect the grind. The only thing you need to know about the Splatfest was that we lost really badly. As in like, we we were in last place in the, in the Splatfest and we didn't win a single category. Like, we we, lo we lost the most that we possibly could have lost. It was the most crushing defeat in the history of Splatoon. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure there's not a, there wasn't a single uh, time where any team lost any harder. That was, it was, uh, that was pretty, that was pretty insane. I'm dead. Um, <laughs> Okay, can you answer me this question right now? Does, um, does focusing increase my, uh, item magnetation? I don't, I don't know, how, I don't know what to call item gravity. What, whatever, the thing that pulls items towards you, does it increase that? I know in some games there's, like, some interesting mechanics that involve focusing to increase the radius of when items get pulled to you with certain shot types, but I don't know if that's in this game. I don't know how I survived that, but we'll take we'll take we'll take it, I guess. <laughs> Did you see that? I like traveled through a bullet. Like I that was I I don't know how that happened. Yo, you you want to know something that's really nice? I really like how how uh how smoothly the game is running right now as well. It's it, it's really nice. Like uh, I remember when I was playing this um, on Kudami, my old laptop. It was, uh, it was lagging, especially when we got to Junko. Like, it lagged really hard, and it made, like, one of the spells almost impossible. Like, it was so, it was so jank, dude. <laughs> Hopefully there is no lag when, when I play this time. Which, that, that, that'll be nice. Is the lack of lag throwing off my reflexes? No, it's actually making things a lot more consistent. Like, the only reason I'm, I'm dying is because I'm bad now. But like before I could blame the lag, now I have nothing to blame. <laughs> it's kind of sad. <laughs> I can no longer blame the lag for my inadequacies. But at the same time, this is also a blessing because uh, now I no longer have like 5% slowdown on my games. 
And you might say like, oh, well, slowdown is helpful, but it's not consistent slowdown. Like it'll slow down like randomly. Like it, it, it happens in like random blips. So like at one moment, it'll be running at 60 frames per second and then it'll like tank and run at like 30 frames per second for like two frames and then it'll go back to 60 frames. And, it, and, and it'll just do that randomly. So it's it wasn't even helpful most of the time. Like I remember, I, 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 feel, I feel like I was having a much better time with Koishi once, uh, once the lag was no longer an issue. So like, like my laptop dying was like a blessing and a curse. Fuck. Oh, what? I don't- I didn't see what hit me. One time- one time I said that I wasn't going to do, uh, all shot types for extra stages. But I think- I think I probably could handle all shot types in all extra stages. Honestly. To be- to be completely honest. One day I plan on doing lunatic difficulty. That day won't be anytime soon, but I do want to do it at some point. And if I if if I have to beat games at lunatic difficulty, by the time I'm good enough to handle lunatic, I should be more than capable of doing all shots for extra stages, I feel. Unless there's like an extra stage that is just ridiculous for no reason with one of the shot types. The only one that I'm really kind of concerned of is Legacy Lunatic Kingdom, oddly enough. I've heard that the extra stage in this game is particularly gnarly. I, 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 I've, I've heard some, some pretty uh, nasty things about this game's extra stage. Imperishable Night Extra with solo shots? Okay, I take it back. We're, we're not gonna do those. The ones that have, that have uh, special dialogue. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, I forgot about the solo shots. Oh dude, you can get out of there with the with I'm not I don't want I do not want to do solo Sakia on um on Mo versus Moko. Oh my god, that sounds like cancer, dude. Everyone suffers roughly equally. Except Marissa, she's always good at extras. Yeah, Marissa's like always goaded, like for a lot of extra stages. I kind of suffered for you. This, 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 this spell. You, you want to know what Ringo's first spell, uh, first non, I mean, reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of um, Border Wave and Particle by Satori, which is which is apparently a Yukari spell. But I, I played Perfect Cherry Blossom and I never saw Border Wave and Particle, never in my life. I, 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 I still have no idea where that spell came from. Like Satori. Is supposed to be taking spells from Yukari, but where is that spell? Is it in the photo games? Does Yukari appear in the photo games? Like what? I need to play that at some point. Would probably I've heard it's it's I I've I've seen people play it and it looks like a lot of fun. I will probably play it sometime after Legacy Lunatic Kingdom. After Legacy Lunatic Kingdom, my consi I I'm gonna be jumping around the games a lot more. Like like late like. Up until now, I've been playing games in order, and I've just been going through them, like, one by one. But after Legacy Lunatic to Kingdom, first of all, I plan on going through the uh, PC-98 games. But while I'm doing that, I'm also probably going to look at Shoot the Bullet. Like, it'll, it, it, it'll finally be time for me to look at that, as well as the fighting games. Like, it was always my intention to play them at some point. And I think now's a good time. Especially since a lot of people apparently don't really enjoy games after uh, Legacy Lunatic Kingdom. I have to say, by the way, like, just so that I can get my, um, opinions out here, I really like this game. Like, it's, it's really, I think it's really, it's really challenging. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, okay, I always, I, I, you know, okay, I like ba bashing my head against the wall, cool. No, but, like, the thing I like about this game is I, I I like the difficulty and I do like the checkpoints in Point Device a lot. Like I like it a lot because I can like I, I really like being able to just retry a, ch a section over and over until I get it. Like I I don't know if there's something about it that that I, I really like this chapter system. I I am aware that this is the only game it appears in, but like I kind of like Point Device mode. 
But it, it obviously has its downsides, and I can see why it wouldn't be for everyone. And I also would have to say that um, I definitely wouldn't recommend you play this as your first game, because... Like, why? <laughs> but, like, this is, it, this is a really good game. Like, the bullet patterns are pretty satisfying to play against, except for Junko. Junko is, like, the low point of, of, of this. Like, I feel like Junko's spells are probably the least interesting. Like, they're just not very flashy, like you would expect out of, uh, out of Toho games. I know that's the point. Like, she's, she's just trying to kill you. So she just, she just throws, like, patterns that are really hard. And they're, they're hard. But it, I don't know. I, I, I. I, I like mo the the really flashy spells that 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 a lot of Toho games have. Hinstar in Four Seasons uh, and Beyond are more divisive. You wouldn't say they're widely disliked. I would say that they're probably it's because you have to emulate them because they are on they were made for PC ninety eight era and not for Windows. Um, that 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 contributes to a lot of the reason why it's not popular. Wow, I really died there. That's... Is everything here aimed? Hidden Star in Four Seasons. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very good at reading. Yes, I am. I'm, 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 I'm so good at reading that you should probably use TTS, which is one channel point. <laughs> I, I made it one channel point, which takes like four seconds to get one channel point and nobody uses it and I beg you guys to use it and you still won't use it which is you know so so like I I'm eternally haunted by having to read chat while playing the game even though I have TTS which no one uses oh my god this part is kind of ass because the homing hits everything so I can't do like I can't just go go around. Probably the strat is to just not shoot anything. Look at that. I'm a fucking genius, dude. Oh god. Okay, I have to shoot here. The only known player with a legit copy has them because he was actually around to buy them. Yeah, how many copies exist of of the PC98 games? I, I I know there's probably not like a definitive answer to that, but like. <laughs> Unless Zoom kept track of how many copies he made, but something like five, eight thousand. HRTP sold like fifty copies. <laughs> wow! If, if there's only fifty copies, man, that must be it, it, you, it, you. That must be a really uh, expensive game. If you want to get like a hard copy of of that game, oh my goodness! So like because because you're basically forced to emulate it because like no but first of all nobody has that and also like how getting your hands on a copy of it in the first place is so fucking hard like that's probably why not a lot of people are like enjoy oh, i'm dead because i didn't do this right i i as soon as i saw the spell i remembered it and i was like shit i oh fuck i i i i i, I had a method for this i don't remember what it was it was like up and up or like like left and up or something stupid like that. Left and up or something. I, I forget. Or it was like... Oh yeah, yeah, it was like... Oh shit. I, 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 don't, I don't remember. I'm just, I'm just gonna, I, 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 I don't remember. I'll figure it out when I start going for the 1cc. That, that is not how you do that spell. I remember I did figure it out with the other shot types, and I, I just forget. Since they weren't at the peak of the popularity, Zoom didn't think of making that many copies, and the series only started getting serious traction somewhere around Perfect Cherry Blossom release. That, 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 uh, that checks out. EOSD got a lot of traction. I wasn't around to, uh, to know. Um... <laughs> I know that EOSD is really popular now, but, uh, mainly because of memes, internet memes, but, um, at the time of release, I, I have, I have no idea. Only you guys would know. Was Billy Billy even around at the time? YouTube wasn't around. I don't know. 
Oh god, it was before my time. I was born in 1998, so <laughs> so I was two years old. So how would I know? That was that was around the that was the t that was around the time of um dial-up internet and AOL, which believe it or not, I st I remember because my parents still used AOL for like for 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 forever. Like they they never stopped using it for some reason, even when it was like obsolete. <laughs> Man, I remember when YouTube was like still in its early stages where you could like rate videos out of five stars. I was on YouTube probably before I should have been on the internet, but like back, back when I was a kid, like internet safety wasn't really a thing. Like, well, I got, I mean, it, it wasn't, cybersecurity wasn't taken seriously. Uh, when, when, like, like, when I was a kid. So, like, I was just allowed to be on the internet. <laughs> Which was, a uh, clearly a huge mistake. <laughs> but, um... I, 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 I was, like, probably, like... I don't know how old I was. Probably, like, in the single digits. Like, eight years old. Nine years old when I was on the internet. And, um... I had, a, I had a different email and a different username. I won't talk about it because, like, uh, it's kind of embarrassing the things that I posted when I was eight years old. What am I supposed to do here again? I forget. There, 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 there was like, there's, like, a way to, like, move in circles or something. Like, yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah. And then you go, like, here. Um, it took me, oh, God, I'm dead. I somehow didn't die because I'm a fucking beast. I'm I'm like the the most badass toe player ever. I don't I don't I don't need to do things the proper way. I can just I can just dodge. Just dodge. You don't think you remember any of your accounts when you were eight? Oh, I remember mine. I remember mine all too well. They were they I I they were super duper cringe. Not much better than shooting LOL star, which I came up with when I was in high school, which is probably still cringe, but believe it or not, I had an even cringier username back when I was like eight, ten years old. So, uh... <laughs> you don't regret things you've done in the past too much because you've learned from them and have become a better person. The thing is that anything you post on the internet is permanent. It's very permanent. So like, one of the things I'm afraid of, not really afraid of, but like a little afraid of is that somebody is going to find like my my eight year old ramblings. There was a, uh, there, okay, th wait, uh, I'll, you wanna talk about something? Okay, back when Flash was a thing, I've, this is a funny story. So back when Flash was a thing, uh, there was this, uh, there was this website called Sploder. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. I, Sploder was like a, it was a Flash video game editor. And you were, you, where you could edit your own, um, Newsgrounds and Congregate. Yeah, I, I was also on Newsgrounds and Congregate. But Sploder was an, was a, uh, it, it was, it was basically a Flash game editor. So, like, you could make Flash games using an editor on the site. And people would upload... A lot of, um, I say Flash games, but, like, they were all this, it, it was all, like, the same game, like, the Sploder games, but they were, um, you could make, it's hard for me to think and play at the same time. Basically, you could make levels on there, and, uh, I made a bunch of levels, and I was, like, one of the top creators. <laughs> <laughs> on that website. Talk about a timestamp for those that know. <laughs> Flash was still a thing until like 2019. I mean, you can still play Flash games if you if you really, 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 really want to. There's there's a way to do it. Um, part of me kind of wants to do that so that I can revisit like old Flash games like Captain Underpants. You know, the OGs. Um... Cause there were there were a lot of flash games that were uh, that were really lit, dude. You remember blue? Oh my god, Bloons Tower Defense! I plan on playing Bloons Tower Defense six, which I've actually never seen. I stopped I stopped playing Bloons Tower Defense after Bloons Tower Defense five. But um, 
My very first time encountering Bloons Tower Defense, you won't believe it. It wasn't even on Congregate. <laughs> it wasn't even on Congregate that I encountered Bloons Tower Defense for the first time. I actually found Bloons Tower Defense on a website called Cool Math Games. Or Cool Math for Kids or something like that. I forget what it was called. It was a website that I would play uh, while I was at school. <laughs> because, of course I did. Back in, um, when I was a kid, like, they were, they were, they had computers that had access to the internet. Uh, and, um, you needed to use it for, like, a couple things. We were still doing things, like, by pen and paper, like, largely, but there were a couple things that we'd had, um, in the United States. In particular, there was this thing called accelerated reading called AR, for short. I remember that. Where, like, you had to read books, and then you had to go online, and you had to take, like, an AR test, and it would have, like, 10 or 20 questions based off of the book you read, and then the books had, like, levels. So, like, the level of the book d would, like, give you, like, points. And you had to get a certain number of points by the end of the nine weeks, or, like, I forget, I guess you failed. I don't know, I don't remember what happened if you didn't get enough points. But like, it was part of your grade or something like that. How many banana farms do I need to stop worrying about money? Yeah, my thing, my thing was actually, I didn't really care about making it as far as I could. My, I, I wanted to beat the game on every difficulty, on every map. The ones that had maps, because if you if you didn't know, like, Bloons 1 and I think Bloons 2, I haven't played them in a long time, but I'm pretty sure they only had one map. And one difficulty, if memory serves. <laughs> but, um, the, but, uh, starting with Bloons Tower Defense 3, we had, um, we, we had different maps. I remember the very first YouTube video I ever watched. Believe it or not, I actually remember it. Unfortunately, I can't find it. I don't know if the guy who made it deleted it or what, but I remember that I was looking for a walkthrough for Pikmin 1. That was that was what I was looking was looking for. I needed a walkthrough for Pikmin 1 cuz I couldn't figure out something. I I actually don't even remember what it was I was looking for. But I remember it was a walkthrough for Pikmin pick for Pikmin 1. And I and uh, and and that's how I discovered YouTube. And then I made an account using my mom's email address. <laughs> so there's like a whole bunch of like old, old, uh, old comments left by me where I used my mom's email address. Um, because my mom forgot to log out of her email. So, <laughs> you could reply uh, with a whole ass video. I kn yeah, now, now, now you can mention people in videos. So if you, you can, um, if you mention people, you can like at them. There's like a, there's a method to like tag them in a video and they will, they'll get like an email saying that you tagged them in a video. It was more like a funny videos platform than the so social media platform it is now. Yeah, YouTube was very different back then. Like, it was, it was very, very, very different. I think it was about the time when, uh, Ryan Higa, I don't know if you guys remember him, because, uh, he's kind of irrelevant now, but, uh, Ryan Higa, I think he was, like, one of the first people to, like, become, like, YouTube internet famous. Um... And when I say what and and when I say YouTube internet famous, I don't mean like he got like one viral video and that was the end of it. I mean like he made a viral video and he kept making viral videos. Like he couldn't be stopped. Like he 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 just never stopped making them. Because like you had like one hit wonders like Chocolate Rain and shit like that, right? But like um but but Ryan Higo was like the first person where like I consistently kept finding him in in the uh, on YouTube for some reason. Like the YouTube wouldn't stop pushing him. I I think he was like one of the first people I subscribed to. As
as as as a lot of uh, I think I think he's the first person a lot of people would have subscribed to him for the first time. Of course, it was all on my mom's my mom's uh, account. So I actually have no idea what Ryan Higa does nowadays. I'm still sub I, I I have I have subscribed to him on my um on 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 my account, but uh but I don't know what he does nowadays. Like I I have I, I none of his videos end up in my feed. If he uploads, that is. Maybe he stopped making them. I don't know. Oh my god, yeah, watching people play video, uh, thing, do things on the, uh, play video games and do things you didn't know about. That was, that was crazy. That was me with, that, that that's how I came across Pikmin, because I was looking for, like, a walk, I was looking for walkthroughs. And then I saw, like, a bunch of videos, like, of people doing, like, other, th I'm probably dead here. Uh, yeah, I'm dead. I, I didn't do that right. Yeah, like, uh... Yeah, it, 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 YouTube was just different, man. It's funny how much easier it used to be to entertain you. Oh, dude, for real. Now we, now everything is like, the, the... I think I think it's because like everything was so much lower quality back then. Now we have like so many like high quality videos made by like tons of people that often have like entire teams associated with them. Right? And like it, it's an evolution of entertainment. So they've like optimized it now. They so it's like so, like, the expectations are so much higher now than they used to be. Because back then, like... Oh! Oh! Don't don't forget! Don't, oh my god, I almost forgot! The most important thing, YouTube had a limit! You remember that? It had a 10 minute limit! You couldn't upload videos that were longer than 10 minutes! Do you remember that? Oh my god, I kept- I almost forgot. Yeah, videos couldn't be longer than 10 minutes long. I remember when they increased the uh, upload limit to 15 I minutes. Forget. Did you watch the Retro Toho Festival? I did, I did. Um, but yeah, I remember when they increased the, uh, the limit to 15 minutes. And that was like a huge deal. Like... Like, that, that was a huge deal. I remember Chugga Conroy, like, made big use of it for his walkthroughs. If you told anyone in the late 2000s, early 2010s, what Pokemon Nuzlocke's evolved into, they would call you crazy. Dude, the skill ceiling has just improved so much with the, uh, with, with the, with, with streaming and people being able to share, uh, everything with each other now. It's, it's, it's crazy, dude. So, like, the skill ceiling for, for video games is just improved like tenfold now he watched pirated anime movies oh my god now like pirated uh anime mo and movies are like super like they're, they're you can still find them but like which is which is kind of unfortunate because like it is illegal like they shouldn't be there but um it, you you used to just find them on uh, on YouTube and uh, they and they were not they were not hard to find. But now YouTube takes copyright like so seriously that it's like almost you, it, it's almost impossible to find them. You can still find them. There pe people do it. They 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 have ways of circumventing the, uh, the YouTube's automatic systems. But but back then it was like a really big problem. Like oh I I, I would almost wager to say that like everybody watched. Uh, watched videos or watched movies and anime off of off of YouTube like almost exclusively yeah but then we have like the very first uh I, I ran into like let's plays which this is, this is go uh, gonna we're gonna run into like Chugga Conroy here um I while I was looking for walkthroughs like to look for the like, things in video games that I didn't know about um, I, I, I found out that there were apparently just people on YouTube just uploading videos of them, you know, playing video games that they love. And I ran into a guy called, who on YouTube calls himself Nintendo Capri Sun. And he was in the middle of doing his Ocarina of Time Let's Play. 
And that was the first, that was the first like let's play style video that I saw. Like that, where it wasn't a walkthrough. It was literally just some guy playing a game that I, that I really enjoyed. And uh, again, I was probably like eight, nine, ten when I found into Tando Capri Sun and his jokes were like, <laughs> were probably not intended for like an eight, nine, ten year old, some of them. But uh, it was it was the first time I encountered like let's like let's players, and I was like, oh wow, like I can actually see like what other people think of my favorite video games. And I was, and, and then I ran into like Chugga Conroy. There was another guy uh, that went by a 900 Red Yoshi who like deleted his channel like 17 billion times. <laughs> there was a guy, I don't know if you guys know him because he wasn't like big or anything, but he, he was, he was 900 Red Yoshi and he like nuked his channel several times and went by like several different usernames. I think he called him like Rainbow Yoshi something and then like Red Yoshi 91 was another one. Like he he like he was obsessed with nuking his channel and making new channels for no reason. It was <laughs> But yeah, I also remember like it was that that was around the time where you could say anything on the internet and we didn't have like fact checkers or like experts on video games hovering around everywhere so like you would have like people saying just like not all it was also the age of misinformation which like i mean today is not much better like you'll still find misinformation everywhere now but the difference now is it's pretty easy to fact check things like you have experts that you can that that are like all over everything like real experts like if somebody tries to say like, oh, it's Super Mario Sunshine, there's like, there's like a, a, a secret blue coin you've never heard of that like has like, where if you like, if you do the, the, like a bunch of things that you've never heard of before that you probably can't even test, you, you, you can get like another shine sprite or something crazy like that. Something absolutely 100% false. And like, but like, you didn't have a lot of people to check. And so like, people were like on a bunch of threads, like asking like, is this true? Is there a 121st shine sprite? Like, is there more than 120 shine sprites in the game? Even though like the game gives you like a red shine marker on your file select if when you get 120 shines and like a postcard on the end credits. If you, so there's like no way you wouldn't know that you got 100%, but people still like would blatantly lie and like spread false information about video games for like no reason. Dude, there was, it was a time where like you could get away with that and there was like nobody, like there were people that would, that would call you out and say like, dude, this is BS, but like nobody would know cause like no one knew who the experts were. Like there was no way of like, there wasn't like a verification like we like we have now guys this uh this music is amazing this is the best everybody uh be quiet and listen to the the, the best music in legacy lunatic kingdom this is going to be my next my, my my next piano arrangement gen 1 pokemon felt so mystical because of all those rumors running on <laughs> yeah like nowadays like nowadays after uh like literally the day the game gets released, you can find walkthroughs for like full full game playthroughs and walkthroughs of the game. Cause everybody gets like early access and like people are like, you know, pirating the game through illegitimate means. So they get the information anyway. And they're just waiting for the game to come out before they upload the video. It, it, now all the information you need to know about video games is like readily available on the day that it gets released. And like leaks are like, are like everywhere now as well. Like, like if, if you're making a, if, 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 if you're Nintendo or Sony or Microsoft and you're making games or like you're, or you're a third party company that is making a game with, for those three consoles or you're a PC gamer for like a company that is really well known. You can almost, it's almost guaranteed that, there, that your game is going to get leaked. Like you, you can't, you can't avoid it. It's unavoidable. You can't stop it. It's really sad. And it like destroys the hype for the games, I feel. 
Now, people who are like big fans of the games, they they they're not gonna let themselves uh, be spoiled. Like I, I I always try to avoid leaks when they happen because like I I, I really I, I really don't want to be spoiled on what's going to happen in like a game I'm excited for. So like for example, Echoes of Wisdom. I know almost nothing about it. By the way, I have Echoes of Wisdom. If you guys want to watch me play that. After this, though, <laughs> I, I need a, I need, I need, I, I want to finish uh, Legacy of Lunatic Kingdom Point of Ice before I get on Echoes of Wisdom. By the way, I just, I just want to say, in all the time I spent talking, this game has gone by like a blur. Like, uh, where did the la where did the first three stages go? I, I don't even. I, I don't even I don't even remember doing them. <laughs> I spent so much time yapping that I uh, that I that I didn't even realize that we were already at stage four, dude. I mean I know we were at stage four when I heard the music, but like, like it it, it just it went by so it went by in like a blink of an eye. We meet we meet at last, Sagame. Oh my goodness, I don't remember this at all. <laughs> Dude, the, when the music gets to this point too, oh my god. When I watch other people play it, it's like so... It, it, it's so good, dude. Yo, I don't... How do you guys do, um... No bomb... Like, no miss, no bomb runs of this game. Y'all are insane. And I know that on Lunatic, it's gotta be like way worse. So the fact that people are able to do no miss no bomb runs of this game on Lunatic That's absolutely crazy to me. I can't believe the skill ceiling goes so high On the topic of that, um How much RNG is in this game? I, 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 I just want to know like so like if you're doing a Lunatic no miss no bomb run I'm just not gonna move. Wow, not moving killed me. Like, I'm just kind of curious, like, like, stage four is probably the easiest in the game, ironically. Really? Very routable. Hmm, the fact that it's routable makes me think that these guys must be aimed in some way. A lot? I mean, compared to other Toho games, how much RNG is in this one. Because, like, all the Toho games have RNG. Even even Subterranean Animism has RNG. As much as I like to say that it doesn't. But it's, uh... <laughs> it, it does have some RNG. Same for Imperishable Night. There, there's RNG in there, but... You know, there's, there's just a lot less. Yeah, how do you do this part? How do you, how do you know where the lasers go? I could just bomb it, but... During your subterranean animus and pacifist, you got to see that RNG. <laughs> Ow, what hit me? Huh? I didn't see any bullets. Okay. Thought I, I, I thought it was empty. Like, what? That was weird. Alright, so that's how you do that part. UFO, Legacy of Lunatic Kingdom, and uh, Unconnected Marketeers have a lot of their hardest patterns. Very RNG. Damn. It seems really different from the last time I came here. Wait, I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Wait, Reimu's been to the Lunar Capital before? Yes, in whatever that game is. <laughs> so she, she's been here before. What did she do? In, 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 uh, in that game, or manga, or work, or whatever. Why, why was she here? Because it's really, that, that's just really surprising because, like, the Lunarians are, like, super duper racist and don't, like, don't, they don't take kindly to strangers. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, I like I like this this uh, back and forth between Reimu and Sagame. I also I also really want to see the dialogue between uh, Raisin and Sagame again. Oh! oh. <laughs> well, damn! I wish the checkpoint would appear sooner. Sagame fight is, uh, is, is, is pretty relaxing for the most part. Some of the, I, I can definitely see some of these patterns, like, being pretty difficult, but overall it's pretty fun, I think. Okay, it's you have to move in like a very specific circle. It's like a very very specific uh, circle that you have to do. You want to know something? I I'm starting to think that the reason the shot type is good isn't even because it has homing, but because of the fact that it has the needles, which helps it with damage a lot. Nice. I did. I think I did that first try too. That, that's a that. Sagami has a lot of fun spells. I now understand why you were sent here. Yeah, indeed. Doremi wanted me to kick Junko's ass. Looks like attacking you got you to talk real fast. My name is Sagame. I have the power to change the direction of the world with my words. A power that is very, very confusing, and a lot of people get it wrong. You're the ones who are attacking Kitsokyo. I'd say you're the destroyers. The lunar capital is what's really under attack. By a method that renders us Lunarians unable to act. I was considering migrating to Kitsokyo to prevent us from being wiped out. Lunarians aren't aware of any of this. Talk about double standards. <laughs> that fate has begun to be overturned right now. Our migration to Kitsokyo is sure to be unrealized. In exchange, you, as an Earthling, shall save the Lunar Capital. I shall put it into words. You can no longer escape from fate. Fate has begun to turn over. Now, on to the ho enemy's home base, the Sea of Tranquility! Damn. Dude, this, this, is, this is very, very confusing. Most convoluted plot in all of Toho? Time to use homing a lot. Oh, so this is where the homing becomes, uh, becomes useful. I can see. Wow, all the enemies here take die so fast. This is another. Um, this is another song that I think is really, really pretty and really nice. Wow. Wow, you weren't kidding. This is a. Uh, wow. Something real interesting is going on. Let's crank up the speed. <laughs> what does what does Clown Piece actually say in um in in the, the Japanese version? Does she say something similar to its lunatic time? Itsu runatiku time. What did I get hit by? She literally says it's lunatic time. It's why it's in italics. Oh my god, that's funny.
Ow, wow, this thing isn't killing him fast enough. Oh, now it's time for me to remember this part. Wow, the homing actually d makes quick work of those guys, too. Wow. Wow, this 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 shot type must be really good for uh LNNs. Oh my god. I have never made it through stage fast quicker, and I'm rusty. Holy shit, dude. That's crazy. Ah, uh, I forget. How how are fairy- how do- how are there fairies in hell? Like, I- I, I don't- I think- I don't think I understand the life cycle of, uh, or like where fairies come from. If they, uh, if they're- if they're able to exist in hell. Master's friend told me something. If anyone comes from the Lunar Capital, show them no mercy. How about I make you cry and silence you? Dude, the fact that Clown Piece says this and then proceeds to fucking murder you is like... Is, is hilarious to me. Ow. All right, bye-bye, clown piece. lucky again dude watch the stars are gonna cuck me now oh I almost did a second try I'm getting kind of good at this though it's it's really just the stars and there was a way to dodge it but I was I was under so much pressure <laughs> Well, time to get fucked by stars. All right, there it is. Booyah. spells I could do flash and stripes I, I could do flash and stripes my power is never gonna dip below three so I actually if I want to go for flash and stripe I, I, I can do it oh man do I want this to be like 10 a 10 hour long stream of me grinding flash and stripe though 
You'll get it. I'm not going for timeout. I'm going for capture. So let's let's try it. Let's try it. I might give up later. I died. I might I might give up later, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. So one th the one, only thing I remember about this spell is you need you you first of all want good RNG, which means you don't want clown piece. You don't want clown piece to move down. If clown piece moves down, we're fucked. Um, but, uh, that's the one thing I remember. In addition, this spell is incredibly hard. And the, uh, the lasers apparently like to spawn on top of me, which, and, and hit me even when I'm not, not inside them. It's been a long time, so I, I'm, I'm getting hit by these lasers a lot more than I should be. But, like, the lasers, I think, appear, it, it, they're pretty easy. They're, the interval is the same, so you can just, you can just eyeball it. But I'm not doing a very good job with that. Does Reimu have small box in this game? Yeah, she has small box. All right. Hopefully that help that comes in clutch a couple times here. She loses the privilege in the next game, which is annoying because you get less grays. Is grays important in Hidden Star in Four Seasons? Oh fuck! I was gonna die if I didn't if I didn't gun it. That was a different person. Oh. Sorry, it's it's hard for me to tell. Oh, dude, I can't even make it past four of these. The nice thing is you probably won't get below four power. I can't. It's impossible. The most you can lose in one in in one sitting is uh is fifty. I think point fifty. I'm pretty sure. Yes, that is correct. Yes. And we started like with more than. Oh my god. We started with more than enough, uh, more than enough power. I will tell you this, one theme I don't like, I don't like Clown Piece's theme. I actually think Clown Piece's theme is kind of, uh, is kind of meh. This was the main problem, like, I've always wanted to capture Flash and Stripes, but I was never able to, because I always ended up at, like, two power. And at two power, this is, like, unbearable. With any shot type, I imagine, it's unbearable at two power. You have to survive, like, one or two extra waves. Which is, like, each of these waves is, like, in, like every time I make it through a wave, it's, it's like, unbelievable. <laughs> like, you know? It takes an unbelievable amount of skill and luck to get through, to get through just one of the six star waves. The six layer star waves. By the time you dodge the last star wave, the the lasers are already coming coming for you. Which is what makes it so hard. So you have like you have like no time to adjust yourself once you uh once once you make it through the stars. That's what makes it so hard. Like it's it's it, it can it, it, it can range it can it, the RNG can range from having to from having to go, like just moving in a straight line to having to zigzag everything which it, it, if if you get if you get the zigzag everything it's just gg oh uh, that was pretty good rng i just kind of dropped the ball there Oh, I moved too far to the right. That was also good RNG. Dude, I'm, I am I stay fucking up, dude. Like, it's it's so hard to the point where, like, you can't even look at the first two layers. By the time I'm you see me going through the first two layers, I'm already looking ahead at the other four layers to figure out what path I'm going to take. Because you just don't have enough time to be looking at them. So if my positioning is even slightly off, I just run into the first layer. If I don't capture Flash and Stripes now, it's never going to happen. Which is the other reason why I kind of want to do it now. Like, I, I, I'm at the perfect power to put attempts into it. So this is, this is like, you know, the perfect time to do it. If I'm, if I'm going to do it, it, it it's, it's got to be now. Because even if I did point device again with other characters, um, Flash and Stripe uh, is still going to be harder because I won't have Reimu's small box. I haven't gotten close yet, by the way. I haven't even managed to get her to the point where the where the um where the uh the pitch of the uh damage changes. 
I can't wait to see how many attempts it it take it took for me to to finally get this. That was pretty bad RNG. This is also bad RNG. It, it's it's not a straight line. You just like have to barely wiggle, and it's like, bro, oh. You have to be like super precise with your wiggling. This might be the hardest spell I've ever captured. Like, no cap. This this might be the hardest spell I've ever captured. Once I capture it, that is. I I don't think there's a there's a more difficult spell. Like, not even Peerless Wind God is this hard. This looks deceptively easy. Uh, I it's 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 like the hardest thing ever like it, it's it's way harder than anything like there are only a there are only like a couple of nons that I would say is uh maybe harder than this one that immediately comes to mind is Moko non 8 Moko non 8 is like absolutely disgusting for spells I think this is the hardest spell like, no, no, n n with, and there's, I don't think there's any room for debate. I don't think there's any spell that's harder to capture than this one. That I've played anyway. There might be, there might be some spells I haven't seen yet. Oh, you know what? You know what? I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. Uh, there's QED. <laughs> QED, I guess. I don't know. We we we'd have to ask Fami, Fam, uh, Fami's opinion. Which one's harder, QED or this? I think QED would be harder than this, actually. QED is so hard that I wouldn't. I I I I, I don't even want to attempt it. <laughs> like like no like this one. I'm willing to put attempts into it because like like it's hard, but like there's a rhyme and reason to it. Like you 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 can get into the groove, kind of. QED? I don't know. I, I Honestly, I don't know. It only gets really bad when she's about to die, I suppose. So like, I guess QED is flukable. This isn't, this isn't, this isn't flukable. But see, the thing about QED is you still have to be really skilled just to like, get to the point where you could maybe fluke the final part. And the thing here is that with this spell, there's no fluking it. You're not gonna get lucky four times in a row with the with the with the six layer stars. If you get that lucky, you've probably put more than like five billion attempts into this. The lasers start from the left. Uh, that that's not that's not why this is hard. The hardest part is the stars. Every time you see me getting hit by the laser, except for like at the beginning because like I'm not paying attention. Um, it's because I'm I'm having I don't have enough time to see it. So it's like I'm I'm trying to dodge through the stars, and like my all of my intention is focused on dodging the stars, and I'm like there's like so many things I'm worried about. Like I have to I have to position myself under a thong piece. I need to get ready for these stars. Like you have to move so fast, and it's just ah, uh, that's how I get end up getting clipped by lasers. Also, the laser hitboxes are like stupid big like they're bigger than they should be in my opinion like you keep seeing me run backwards into them like there right like i'm like i'm not gonna lie i'm trying to get pretty close to the laser but i do not agree that i'm hitting it like that's the that's the thing and you you keep seeing me do that and that's because i keep misjudging the size of the laser hitbox like it's, it has nothing to do with me misreading him when you see me running into the lasers from behind it's literally just because, like, the laser hitbox is just really dumb. But, um, the lasers starting from the left, I think there's, like, there's, like, a way to time out this spell if you, if you want to go for a timeout, which is actually probably the way people go do it in, uh, in LNNs. They probably go for the timeout because it's a lot easier. But you can go into, like, a corner and you can misdirect the stars. So like one thing about the I, I forgot to mention the stars can be misdirected. She shoots the stars like at your general position. So like there's so that guarantees that the stars are going to go towards you and you can use that to your advantage to time out the spell by going into the corner and misdirecting them. But for capturing it I have to you have to stay under clown piece because the timer believe it or not is really short. 
It's so short that I don't even know if it's possible to capture this spell at, like, one power. Like, if you're at one power, I don't even know if it's po- Like I said, I, I don't even know if it's possible to, uh, to capture this. But one thing that can make dodging the lasers easier is, uh, the intervals are the same. So all you need to do is you need to look for the first layer's position. And that'll tell you where the, uh, where the other lasers are gonna be, because they're all... Oh my god, wait. Let me lock in. Fuck. I think she had... I think I had to survive one more wave after that one. Ah. Oh. Damn, that's by far the closest I got. She still wasn't the pitch of the the pitch didn't even change, which is again, that's crazy. She is she is she has way too much health for this spell. I swear to god. Like I think I think Zune forgot to I think Zune put one too many zeros on her health for this spell. Do people go for LNN all captures? Where they capture all the spells and don't time anything out? Because I'm almost convinced that every LNN must fucking time out this spell. Because goddamn, dude. Unless it changes in Lunatic and is actually easier somehow. Which would be nice. Oh, don't get your hopes up. Don't get your hopes up. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, my God, dude. You, you want to know what really sucks? The fact that it says bonus failed. I what? That means I didn't even capture it. I didn't even capture it. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? It wasn't even, it was, oh my god. It wasn't even like I died after I captured the spell. I literally died and then the bullets hit her after I died, and then it ended. So I didn't even get the spell capture. Oh, dude! <sighs> we had it, dude! I was getting concerned. I was thinking about not even going for the stars. Like, not even going through them. But I, I, there was no, I, I couldn't really tell how much longer it was gonna last. You want to know something? I when when I played Imperishable Night, I thought Marissa's stars were like the worst thing ever, and and I have been humbled. I have been humbled that uh, there, there are worse there are worse star patterns. Yo, when we return to UFO, because we're gonna fight Nui, naturally. When we return to UFO, the funny Mima star in some game I haven't played before. Um. When we, when we, uh, return to UFO, it's gonna be interesting to see just how much I've improved. Everything I've done has surely made me a better player. Koishi, all the extra stages I've beaten, um, the fact that I beat UFO itself with all six shot types, uh, the fact that I beat double dealing character with all six shot types, uh, the fact that I'm go going to beat Le uh, Legacy Lun to Kingdom with all four shot types, one CC. Uh, but when I return to UFO, I'm gonna be a much stronger player. I don't even know if a route is gonna be necessary, which would be really funny. Like I, like no joke. I feel maybe, may call it maybe, maybe it's my hubris talking. But I feel like when I go back to UFO, I'm literally gonna walk in there and I'm I'm probably just gonna beat it without a route. <laughs> and and not even not even uh not even sweat. Cause some of the shot types I've done, 
are are straight ass, bro. Like double dealing character Sakia B. Oh my god. Although I would argue that uh that Koishi that the ec the subterranean animism extra stage with uh, Marissa A, which I did, there are definitely easier shot types I could have used. But the shot type I used, which was my favorite, I I feel like that was harder than Sakia B, normal one CC, DDC. I'm not sure why I think that, but I that's what I think. Well, but here's the thing, is that I think I think Koishi can be really consistent with enough practice. So as difficult as Koishi is, at the very least, I think you'd be able to do it more consistently than DDC Sakia B. What's sad is I kind of also want to do scoring for double dealing character, because it's a it's really fun and I would love to have an excuse to return to it a lot. Because double dealing character and subterranean animism are like my favorite games so far. But if I do scoring, probably I'd have to get really comfortable with Sakia B. Like, I don't know, like that's that. I mean, nobody's telling me I have to use the best shot type for scoring. I could just go, I could just score with whatever because it's not like I'm going to be getting any world records or anything, but I could just go for personal bests. But it is sad to hear that uh, Sakia B is the, uh, is the scoring shot. I guess it was like designed for scoring. I mean, to be honest, though, like, I some games I feel like wouldn't even be all that bad on Lunatic. I feel like 10 Desires, because of the trans mechanic, wouldn't even be all that bad for a Lunatic 1cc. Oh my goodness, Melia with the raid. How are you doing, Melly? How, how, did, how, did how did your stream go? Good luck? Thanks for the good luck, Melly. Thanks for the good luck. We are trying to capture uh, Flash and Stripe. That is what we're doing now. After that, we're gonna we're gonna beat this game. Fuck. Oh well, I should just take the death because I'm not getting out of that one. Another run that died on Junko. Third one now. Oh, you'll get it though. You'll get it. You're getting close, dude. You have no idea, Melly. I was so close to capturing this. I got a DKO and I didn't capture it. I'm so sad. We were so close. We were, we were so freaking close, dude. Oh, I moved the wrong way. I meant to move left and I pushed it right. Oh my God. You guys have so much strength to play these games. You could never. I, I, I suppose, I suppose. It's, it's a lot of uh, sheer will, but also you have to understand like, it's not, it's not annoying. I guess it is annoying when you when you when you get close several times and you never get and you never get it. That 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 is annoying. There's some annoying aspects, but like the gameplay is actually fun. Like for as much as the spell is fucking an, like awful and hard and oh my god, I have to say, I do like the movement it forces you to do to capture it. I just kind of wish. It didn't last so fucking long. Like, it lasts, it overstays its welcome. Like, Clown P should not have this much health. Like, like Clown P says way too much health for this spell. That's like the main, my main gripe with this spell is it lasts way too fucking long. Like, if this, if this spell, if, 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 uh, if Clown Piece had like, I would even- I would say if Clompies had 60% of the health that she had here, this would be a really fun spell. A really fun and challenging spell. Alright. But because she has, like, 17 billion health, it is just absolute agony trying to survive this. <laughs> but yeah, welcome raiders. I'm your host tonight, shooting LOL star, and uh, I just died. Um, like I said before, we're going for, we're trying to capture Flash and Stripes, and then we're gonna beat uh, Point Device with Reimu. This is um, this is my fourth time beating it in Point Device. I've beaten it with every other shot type in Point Device already. This is the last one, and. Uh, I've never captured Flash and Stripes before. It is the only spell I haven't captured, which is why I want to capture it while I'm with Reimu and I have the uh, 
you know, the, um, the privilege of using small hitboxes. Life bar being balanced around point devices, agony and legacy, dude. By the way, Flash and Stripes isn't even, it isn't the only really difficult spell that Confies has up her sleeve. I think it's her hardest one. Junko is just a massive tank. I actually, I don't know what she's like on Lunatic, but at least on normal mode, she's actually not so, uh, not so bad. I, I actually find Junko a lot easier than, uh, Clown Piece. Although Junko has some nons that are really, ugh. But at least Junko's spells are actually way easier than Clown Piece's spells, at least on normal mode, I find. She is probably the hardest final boss you have ever played in a game yet. Really? Not getting to her with at least four lives, you could just reset, not even worth a try. I'm surprised you would say that, considering you've played uh, Dodonpachi. But yeah, at least on normal mode, uh, at least on Jun uh, on normal mode, um, Junko's not so bad. The, the, main, the main threat is Clown Piece on normal mode. Of course, I haven't tried to do a 1cc yet, so, like, you know, I... I haven't... Uh, you know what? I will reserve my opinion until after I get 1cc with all shots in this game. I don't know how I didn't die there. I swear, I swear I just clipped through the star, but I, I guess, I guess Reimu small box privileges. Let's go. <laughs> I still lost, but that was that was really weird. I I, I thought I, I could have sworn I, I was gonna get hit by that star, but being in Dota Pachi is even if the boss is hard, with like one life and five, six bombs, you can force your way through. On Junko, if you want to full bomb the boss, you need like 20 bombs. Rip. So in other words, you have to survive some of her some some, some like some of it. Cause like Toho is a game to Toho games are not are designed to be beaten without bombs but you have bombs and lives as a as a as a as a uh, lifeline but like everything in toho games zoom designs the games so that you can capture all the spells no matter how difficult it is like at the end of the day yeah the all the spells are designed to be capturable I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have, I, I shouldn't have moved I should I should have just stayed going up there's only a couple parts that where I where I don't I don't think it was designed to be done. I don't think Zoom designed them to be done without without just bombing through them. One of those being Moco 8, for sure. I think stages and non-spells are probably Zoom ex Zoom probably expects you to just bomb through them. But spell cards like this one, Zoom 100 percent intended for people to capture them. Because I mean, he wants you to capture them. They give you points and they, you know, if, if, if I can, I can go for a full spell capture run here. It, Cause like flash and stripe is like, was like the major hurdle on like whether or not I'd be able to get it. Junko's final on normal isn't, isn't that bad. I've actually captured it before. But unfortunately, I don't have the footage because uh, my laptop had a hard drive failure. So all my VODs are, are uh, gone. Oh my god, bro. Oh, okay. Wow. I can't believe I made it through there. I did not deserve it. That was some pretty good RNG there. This could be it. Ooh. Oh! Let's go! Yeah! Oh! Oh, it's over! It's over! It's over! It's freaking over, dude! It's over! I got myself a snack because that was, that was, that was, 
Oh man. I basically captured it twice. Because I was so close to capturing it once and then I died. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't I, I, I cannot wait to see how many attempts that took. Holy crap. Oh, I don't even care that I died to the non. Dude, it's over! You're back, did we do it? You, hell yeah, we did! Hell yeah, we did! Bro! Okay. How, how did I get... How did I capture Flash and Stripe? And I didn't even beat my high score. What? My high score is 170 mil. And I just captured Flash and Stripe. Which is- which gives you a spell card bonus. But I didn't- I didn't- I didn't beat my high score when I was- like, that I got just by surviving and then dying. Like, what? How- how does- how does that make- what? It was probably when I almost captured it and I probably grazed a lot of bullets and maybe just got enough points to, 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 I guess, have more points than, I don't know how though, because the spell capture bonus is worth so much, right? Don't tell me Flash and Stripes isn't worth the points. Are you kidding me? This spell is debatedly harder here than Lunatic, very debatedly. On Lunatic, she fires the huge stars very fast, but they're static and the lasers are way tighter. Faster and there's no leniency. You have to get to the topmost layer. Ah, okay. Oh man, dude, this is, this is so, this is way harder. I would even say this is harder than um, Junko's final spell, at least on normal. On normal, it's, it, the, the Flash and Stripes is harder than Junko's final spell on normal. <sighs> All right, it's still not too easy. I don't expect anything in Lunatic to be de easy. I t honestly. Name one spell in, that is, name one spell on Lunatic difficulty in any game that is so easy that it's actually easier than an easy spell from another game. You Moonlight Ray, so you're, you're going, you're saying Moonlight Ray on Lunatic is easier than Mountain of Faith, Kanako's last spell on Easy. And there's probably harder Easy spells, but I'm using that as like a baseline because that's the that's the one that pops into my head like the quickest. City in Riverside probably. Which one is that one? Is that one I've done before? That sounds like a spell that like Komachi would probably have if she actually had spell cards. Komachi has spell cards in some spin-off games. She does? Moonlight Ray is Rumia's mid spell. I'm aware. Ow. Oh wow, those lasers spawn pretty fast now. You want the the other thing about Clown Piece that makes her really rough is that she has a lot of uh a lot of attacks that don't give you power when when you when you when you clear them. So like she drains your power very slowly. Or not not slowly, but very quickly I should say. Oh, I'm dead. I I I I I, I forgot what spell was coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Flash and Stripe is the first spell that gives you power. I know, and it, it and it happens like, like you to get before you get to Flash and Stripe, you that has to be a mistake. Cause I swear to God, like every spell should give you power. I have no idea why her first spell doesn't give you power. It's that's so stupid, dude. But okay, whatever. It, it, it's one of the problems. Is like I kept get, making it to Flash and Stripe with like not enough power. But when, when, to get before you get to Flash and Stripe, you have to do two Nons and a spell. And then you have to beat Flash and Stripe to get power. So you have to get two spells and two Nons before you get to see any power. And it doesn't, it's not even a full power. It's like 50 power or something like that. It's, 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 it's like crazy. Oh my God. 
The worst part about this spell is how inconsistent the, uh, the bullets are. Like, it, sometimes it leaves, like, these weird leftovers. And, and, and it doesn't, like, cleanly do it. That didn't even take long. All right, we're back to four power, boys. Oh, striped abyss. Okay, I don't remember how to do this. <laughs> but I, I have, what, what, what I worry about is the timer because th this one likes to get timed out. So I have to stay in the middle uh, as much as I can. I wasn't even close. I was gonna run out of time. I need, I need faster strats. Maybe bottom? Oh, the bottom you can stay closer to the... Okay. Oh, dude. Okay, yeah, we're... Okay, we're doing... I just looked at her health. Yeah, we're doing enough damage. This is, this is enough damage. Hopefully I can get through this without losing too much power. All right, there we go. All right, time for time for the uh, survival spell. All right, first try, boys. Oh fuck! <laughs> fuck. That part's the hardest part, right there. Making it through there. That's the hardest part, and then, and then, and then it's about stealing your nerves. I wonder, how do they make this harder on Lunatic? Ow? Fuck. We almost got it. Isn't it fitting that this spell is called Fake Apollo? Um, let me I give, let me focus and then I'll read the rest of your comment. Ooh. Okay, I should have more than enough time to get up here and then dodge. Yeah. GG. I almost died there, but all right. Let's go. Clown piece down. Clown piece down. This spell is called Fake Apollo. It only gets hard on second 13. I guess that's kind of funny, yeah. Oh, you put up a good fight, Clown Piece. I, I got I gotta hand it to you. I gotta hand it to you, Clown Piece. That was a long fought battle. It's good to be back. Good to be back and capture Flash and Stripe. There's only one last thing now, and that is. That is capturing uh, Junko's final spell. There is one thing I need to be careful about, and it is um, if you're not, if I'm not careful, I can make it to Junko's final spell with uh, with with only two power, and that that would be really really tragic. Wouldn't be impossible, but that would be really tragic. Oh my God! Another raid. Holy crap. Welcome to Ferrano and welcome to all you raiders. I'm shooting a little star. We just beat Clown Piece. And, uh, oh man, dude. Mount of Faith is a torture device. I don't know how difficult it is on higher difficulties, but, uh, I know that at least two of the spells are infamous enough that it gets brought up all the time. That would be Peerless Wind God and uh, what is it? What is it called? 
on um on lunatic mountain of faith it's it's called something different on lunatic which i i think is i think that's a right shame because divine virtue win god there you go on 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 lunatic it's called divine word virtue of a win god and the the sad part about it is like i kind of wish that it wasn't called that I wish it was just still called Mountain of Faith. Cause I mean, that, that's the title of the game. The title of the game is called Mountain of Faith. I just, I, I feel like, it, I feel like it's perfect that the spell is called Mountain of Faith. So I'm kind of sad that it gets changed in Lunatic, but oh well. Enemy of our friend is an enemy of our master and an enemy of my master is an enemy of mine. I'm not really sure what to do. I've got no le fight left in me. Yeah, oh, that's cause I kicked the shit out of you. And used four bombs. I'm pretty sure I used all four bombs on her nons. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure I did, because I didn't want to take any chances not having enough power. Anyway, four bombs is plenty to get through Junko and capture all of her spells, I think. I, I think, I think so. Ow. That hurt. This is another theme that's really good. I I I, I want to make a uh, I want to make a um a piano solo arrangement for for this theme as well. This this game has a lot of good themes. And I finally get to listen to one of the better themes in the game because I actually really don't like Clown Pieces theme. Which makes it, like, utter agony. Because, uh... I think, I think Clown Pieces theme is, like, one of the weakest themes... ...in the series. You also used to think that, but Clown's theme grew on you? Yeah, I, I, it got more annoying for me as time went on. I, I really don't like it. Alright, time to dodge rain. Ah. Uh. Yes! Let's go. Let's freaking go. Didn't even take me that long to get past the rain. Is this the end? Ah, yes! Here we go, Junko. Long time no see. No matter how many countermeasures I work out, you overcome them. Damn right. Tis a shame. My nemesis was nearly within reach. You're the ringleader of the invasion of the Lunar Capital. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. For now, I shall admit defeat, but in a few seconds, I am going to try to fight you anyway. For, for no reason, even though I know that you're, you know, cheating with the, uh, 
<laughs> with the elixir of life. <laughs> what is it called? The ultramarine orb elixir. <laughs> For not one moment did I ever expect that they would send an earthling to the moon. <laughs> You still find it funny that Toby referenced Junko and Deltarune? I haven't played Deltarune yet. I still have to do that. I'm surprised that the Lunarians, hating even the slightest impurity, would do such a thing. I underestimated them. The battle has already been decided. Well, I'm sure that the uh, Lunarians have learned their lesson about being racist. You seem real relaxed, even though the fight is still to come. <laughs> My name is Junko. Oh, don't tell me Reimu is the one that eggs on this fight. Junko already admitted defeat. She are, she's surrendering. Sagacious spirit who stands against the Lunarians. He's a fox girl enjoyer after all. Does he like Ran? There's a very Junko moment line. If I may be frank, my current will to fight has vanished. Yeah? I shall at least show you some hospitality for arriving here. Is the hospitality, like, a fight? Thank you for the follow. It's only fair, is it not? Oh my god. Yeah, could, could we just, could we just have some tea? I don't really care one bit about the Lunar Capital. Damn. He likes Ran? Ah, yes. I mean, there's not a lot of fox girls in Toho to choose from, so it's basically Ran. <laughs> but I have at least to vent a little about having been given so much trouble. He must have been, he must have been, uh, oodling over the fact that Ran appears in the latest game. I will just love the fact that we get to hear Charming Domination again. I was really excited to hear about that. I can't wait to get to that game. She no Though she now lives on in a... On another heavenly body, I'm unable to meet with her. Yeah, see, this is the thing I never understood about Junko. It's like her whole thing is like she wants to like genocide the the freaking Lunarians or whatever. Like she she's invading them and killing them all just so that she can get to the prison. And then she does all that, right? Just so that she can get to Someone who is immortal that wronged her. Like I don't know what you, I don't I don't know what you what you want, Jinko. Like they're immortal. You can't really do anything, even if you even if even if you did get what you wanted. I don't like, I don't know what kind of revenge she's plotting. Like I, maybe torture? I don't know. first try that's pretty crazy okay <laughs> oh my god that was the very best that was the best uh start to a junko fight i've had yet oh my god that was pretty crazy is junko aware change is immortal you know that is a that is a very good question i actually do we know if she's aware of this fact? I didn't even consider that. That would be a hilarious that, that would be a hilarious thing for her to discover if she actually met Chang -e, or Chang or however you say it. <sighs> There's only four users of the elixir. The Ori elixir? Yeah, it's uh Kaguya, Moko, Aaron, and I guess Chang -e. I feel like that would be public knowledge though, would it not? In the fairy manga, Hikesha said that the reason she allied with Junko in her plan was to put clown piece on Gensokyo. So let me get, wait, so Hikesha was, so Hikesha believed that Junko's plan was going to fail. Like she predicted that the Lunarians would send a human to deal with, what? Also, another thing that confuses me a little bit is the fact that, like, I, I don't know if Junko's whole purification thing is what allows her to 
defeat the Lunarians with with no resistance, that they can't fight back against it because of her whole purity shtick, right? If that's true, like, why the fairies? Or is it like the fairies are impure and, like, killing fairies would put a stain on the Lunar? I don't know. Like, like, Lunarians can't fight fairies. Yes? Okay, that's the plan. Okay, so Lunarians can't fight fairies. That's why they sent fairies to the moon. She turns fairies into pure life force. She purifies the fairies' impurities, and impurity is the concept of change. <gasps> I was wondering about that. Like, for, like, I was trying to figure out, like, what was... What what the, this whole like impurity thing with the Lunarians was and nobody was able to give me a satisfying answer that actually explains a lot so the Lunarians Do not the the idea of change that's that's what impurity is to the Lunarians like so things that cause people to change is That is considered impure earth is impure because things on it live and die seasons change whereas Lunarians are immortal. Yeah, like Lunarians don't die. They don't. They don't have that life cycle. Wait, but that doesn't make sense. Then why the Ori elixir? Like, isn't Aaron a? Okay, maybe I'm thinking about this wrong. But isn't Aaron a Lunarian? And 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 Raisin? They're more like a mortal. Meaning like they can die, but they can't die. Like they're like they're 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 immortal, but they can die. Like you can still kill them but they don't die due to aging. Aging doesn't exist for Lunarians. Lunarians are, are unaging. Immortality in Toa is weird. Yeah, there's, a, there's quite a few things like that. Like, the vampires are immortal, I think. I think the vampires are immortal. Uh, obviously, everybody who drank the Ori elixir is, is immortal. It's a rejection of life and death. They're Lunarians, but are hated by the other Lunarians because of that. I actually don't remember, but like, I actually forget why Eren and Kaguya had to leave the Lunar Capital. I, I honestly forget the story, the story of, um, Imperishable Night. I remember they had a reason. It might be because of the Ori Elixir. Like, maybe like Chang'e wasn't supposed to have the Ori Elixir or something. Still, I made it pretty far without, uh, with, 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 without, um, with, 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 without any, uh, how did I survive that? It makes, that made, that made no sense. <laughs> okay. Ow! <laughs> No, you go. Why? Okay. Okay. It's gonna take me like fifty bajillion years to remember how this spell goes. Ow. I know you have to misdirect these things. That is not how you're supposed to do that. Ow. Okay. I'm supposed to go. I have to go up. I have to go up. I, I remember now. All right, perfect. Ow. That's quite the non you got there. Yeah, a normal Junko isn't really that bad. I actually I actually find Junko to be pretty <sighs> I actually find Junko to be pretty, uh, pretty, pretty easy on normal. Sort of. Well, not, not exactly easy, but... She, not, definitely not as difficult as Clown Piece. Fuck. I, I thought, I, 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 uh... I'm not gonna say, I, 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 I don't have any excuse for what happened there. 
The reason in Perishable Night it happens is indirectly because of Raisin, because the other rapids meshed her with a, yo, there was a war here. We gotta pick you soon. At that point, she was living with Eren and Kakia. Ah, the a war? What kind of war? Also, wasn't she already enlisted in, in the Lunarian army? The war was the Apollo missions. Oh, okay. When was Legacy of- when was Imperishable Night made again? I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm not dead. That was a pretty tight squeeze. All right, one more. Can I get one more? Oh, that's the easiest one more I've ever seen. All right, let's go. I'm gonna use, use a bomb for this because, uh, well, maybe I don't have to, because there's a lot of power here. As long as Junko gives me power, I, I, I can probably safely go through without, without having to get any power. But I mean, like, I don't know what else I'm going to use it on. I can only use it on Nons. Yeah, I should probably use a bomb. There's not really any reason not to. And it gets pretty crazy at the end. Especially if she does this to me. Ah, yes! Ah, yes, I'm expecting to see some spam in the chat now. <laughs> I do not believe it is statistically possible to capture this on your first try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. I rem when with I remember that spell was atrocious with lag. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. So fast you couldn't get the pasta. Yeah, I didn't I didn't give you enough time to get the pasta. I I'm just too good. I am just too good. Perfection. All right. We should be fine because it gives you plenty of it gives you plenty of uh, it gives you plenty of power here. This is good. Dude, I'm happy. This is a, I'm having a really good Junko fight, all things considered. I don't even, I, I, I even have four bombs. I didn't even have to use my bombs on a lot of her nons, dude. That's crazy. Oh, and now you put the copy pasta. Now you put the copy pasta when we're like at the last spell, dude. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't die there, but that was that was pretty uh, crazy. <gasps> okay, I, I, dude, if I would have gotten that on my first try, y'all y'all would have to y'all would have to investigate me for cheating. That would have been sick though if I got that on my first try. I have I, I have there, I have no doubt I can do this though with three power, unless Reimu just doesn't do very much good damage, which I know is not true because. She's, she's, she's got the damage. I mean, you already have to investigate me for cheating because I captured the statistically impossible spell. 
So therefore I must be cheating. I, I I can't believe how effortlessly I made it through a lot of Junko. Like I definitely believe that Junko is easier than Clown Piece on normal mode anyway. I definitely believe that 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 she's she's easier than Clown Piece. Damn, you blinked? Yeah, you blinked and I was already almost finished with this. This was the most painless. It probably comes from the fact that I do have a lot of experience with, with this now. Like, I have beaten this like three times now up to this point. Fuck. With the other shot types, which definitely helps. Also, probably defeating Koishi made me better, probably. Okay, but also, and also, also having a better laptop that doesn't lag all the time. On Lunatic, Clown is like above average stage five boss at most. Well, Junko is somewhere along Rumilia and Okina for hardest. At least a normal, at least a normal Junko gives gives you a bit of a break. One of the one thing that kind of so, like impresses me is like the fact that people can do LNNs. Like I need like to do this spell, I need to get in the groove. Like I feel like this is a spell I would only ever be able to do if I got like like 20 tries at it. Like I have to get into the zone and like get familiar with it and like you know what I mean. Cause like you have to look at it a certain way. Cause you can't see everything. It's not possible. There's no way if you try to look at everything, you won't make it. So like the secret is you have to you have to like you you have to divert your attention and put your attention on the most important things, which are the purple bullets and the blue bullets. Those are more important than anything else. As long as you keep those in check, you should be able to dodge the uh, red bullets with uh, just just by um, fuck. I wasn't far enough left. You should be able to dodge the uh, left bullets with uh, the uh, the red bullets by pure instinct. And if you're not good enough to dodge them by pure instinct, then uh, skill issue. The purple bullets like will block you and get in your way and trap you. And then the blue bullets will also trap you because they're crisscrossing bullets and you really need to keep them in check. And then the red bullets are not really a threat. You can you can usually just uh, just dodge them as they come to you because they move quick enough that they're not in your space for too long. Whereas a purple bullet will not move out of your way. You think Romelia is harder than Junko because Junko got nothing? Like the <laughs> Master Against Sokyo gauntlet like Romelia? Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Scarlet Gensokyo looks like a lot of fun to dodge though. When it when it doesn't wall you, that is. I might need a break before doing this because I'm not even making it to phase four. Damn. Damn, that is one of those rare cases where a red bullet actually doesn't move out of the way. That 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 red bullet. I was waiting for it to move, but it never did. And it just it just it, it it's it's really rare for that to happen, though. Whoo! That was close. Fuck! Oh, that was last phase. We were close. We were close. We were close. I'm starting to get into the groove now. Oh! That's so unfortunate, dude. Okay, this is it. I'm very close. Oh, I moved old. Oh my God, that was tough. That was a really hard maneuver I had to pull there. I got some pretty bad RNG. I saw what I needed to do, but that was really tight. Oh, I didn't see that purple bullet. How did I not see it? Oh my god. This is why you have to you you have to keep track of all the purple bullets. That's unfortunate. Okay. Ooh. See, I'm telling you it's those purple bullets, man. Cuz the purple bullets linger. They ref they don't leave. So once a purple bullet is in an area, you're, you're, you're stuck with it for like five seconds. And that same purple bullet is just, it, it, will, it refuses to leave. So like, as long as that purple bullet is there, you just, you, an entire avenue is blocked from you and you just can't use it. Like without the purple bullets, this would be one of the easiest spells in Toho. Would it really? It would. 
It, it really would. I mean, of all of Junko's spells, this is definitely the hardest one. Like, without a, without a doubt. This is the only one that I think is, like, particularly dangerous. I mean, all of her, all of her spells are pretty hard, but this just not as hard as Clown Feast. Oh my god, purple bullets! Oh my god! Love to see it! Purple bullets! You know it, you love it! PDH would be easier if it had less bullets. It would be easier if the purple bullets moved at the same speed as the red bullets. That's that's the that's the real problem. Cause the purple bullets linger. So like when they block a path, they block it for an eternity. And there's nothing you could do. Like right there, I couldn't go left because the same purple bullet that uh, prevented me from going up was now preventing me from going left. And had it moved faster, the purple bullet simply wouldn't have been there to cuck me. Because, like, with a lot of the red bullets, you only have to dodge them once. And after you dodge them, you don't have to look at them again. You can just pretend it doesn't exist anymore. That's, like, one of the big things. So, like, once I dodge a red bullet, it's, like, it, it's out of my mind, out of sight. Cause it's it's like you, you don't you don't have to you don't have to worry about it anymore because it moves too quickly to block you later. But with a purple bullet, even after dodging it like one time, you'll you'll probably have to dodge it again because it just moves too slowly. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I had other options, but for some reason I I don't know why I chose that path. I had I had way 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 better options. The reason I I went for that path was just because I wanted to get closer to Junko, but I didn't have to do that. Moving away from Junko for for a, for a split second isn't going to be the uh, worst thing in the world. You see what I mean? These purple bullets, they won't move out of the fucking way. Move faster. <gasps> oh, I didn't see the blue bullet. Oh my god, I miscalculated the uh, the crisscross. Oh man, that was just a that was just a raw miscalculation of the blue bullets. I'm so mad. I'm so I'm so sad. It wasn't even because of a purple bullet. I just miscalculated the blue the blue bullets. I also suck at, at dodging the crisscrossing bullets anyway. Like, it's hard for me to figure out exactly where the opening is. So that, that, that also doesn't help. Damn. Damn, I had to get really close to the edge there, which, you know, I got too close. But yeah, that, that's unfortunate. Oh, I went up too fast. Oh my god. Make up your fucking mind where you want to go, dude. I, I hate when I like, when I have like a, like a blip like that, or it's like, I, I'm indecisive. Like you, there's no time to be indecisive. I, you, you have to, you have to make a decision and go. Purple bullet. Almost ran into that blue. This is it! Let's go! Let's go! Oh! Finally! Alright. That took a little longer than I would have liked. GG, thank you. Thank you for the GG. Thank you, I earned it. I earned it. There you go, every single spell captured.
Every single spell captured. Point device is a lot of fun. I really, I really enjoyed it. I, I wish point device, uh... I, I, I wish, I wish point device returned more, but it wouldn't make a lot of sense. But I, 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 I really, I really like it, the, the way that point device works. That you could just sit and do a chapter over and over until you get it. It's really nice, really chill. To what would otherwise be a really, 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 like, really difficult patterns to, to, to handle. And then of course in legacy mode we just get like 50 billion lives and we'll just coast through. That's At least that's what I've been told. This time we face someone whom the Lunarians couldn't deal with themselves and Yokai, being completely impure, cannot even see. Oh what? They can't see impure things? What? So it's not just that they're racist? Like if you're impure they can't even see you? What kind of John Cena story plot line is this? <laughs> You're way too kind-hearted not to. Reimu kind-hearted? Surely you jest. Surely you jest. Oh my god, I love the face that uh, Reimu is making here. She's like, I really don't want to be talking to this, this, this stupid rabbit. <laughs> Ending number one, savior of the lunar capital. You got that right. Let's go! And I did it capturing every single spell. That was pretty, uh, that was pretty good. Ah, uh, can't really give, I, I, I would give my, my final thoughts. I mean, so far I'm just having a blast with it. Point device is so much fun. Um, but we still have to go for the one CC, and I mean, like, if all you care about is the uh, is the uh, is getting the endings, I'm pretty sure point device will suffice. Cause I'm pretty sure that the uh, one CC endings are not as good. <sighs> oh boy. Let there be happy future Earthlings. Point device mode cleared. Thank you for playing. Yep. Because if I didn't do point device, uh, the Earthlings wouldn't be happy. That's proof that if you get a 1cc without getting a no miss clear, uh, you'll get a bad ending, obviously, naturally. In, in, in uh, honor of Echoes of Wisdom, which I want to play soon. Oh man, this is nice, dude. I and mean, we can play the extra stage, but I, I don't think I'm ready. Guys, uh, how 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 much harder is the extra stage compared to Koishi? It's harder and way longer. As if I as as if I as if I uh, I I never would have guessed that it would be uh that it would be. Why would I why would I think that the extra stage in um in in Legacy Lunatic Kingdom would be any different from the uh from from the actual uh from the the base game with bosses that have way too much HP for my liking. Also depends on the shot type. It's definitely worse from what you've seen. Moon Sign Ultramarine Lunatic Dream. That one took me 18. Oh, wow. That's that's the most out of this. <laughs> oh my god. Flash and Stripes took 337 attempts. Bro, that's crazy. That is absolutely insane. That is, uh, oh my god. Triple digits for, for Flash and Stripes. That seems right for Flash and Stripe, yeah? <laughs> Yeah, 337 attempts for Flash and Stripes. And by the way, this was not my first time seeing it. This is after having already gotten three point device clears. So this is absolutely insane. And then 51, uh, 51 for uh, purely bullet hell. Took, took me 51 attempts. So I died to it 50 times. And then the 51st one, I got, uh, I finally got the capture.